Hey guys, welcome back to another skincare video. So today I want to talk specifically about acne scars, hyperpigmentation, ice pick scarring, and I want to show you guys what I've done and continue to do to heal them. The process I use is called microneedling, or it's also known as derma rolling. So basically I'm going to share my knowledge on this and I'll also show you the different tools and how I use each one. So let's go ahead and get started. So I actually began my journey with derma rolling in 2014 when I first heard about Banish. And I just want to make it clear that this video is not sponsored by them, but I do want to say that they're the only brand I recommend buying these tools from because I do see derma rollers being sold left and right, but Banish really takes pride in using the highest quality material and ingredients in their products. So they're the only ones I trust, especially when it comes to treatments like this where needles are involved. So with that being said, microneedling or derma rolling has many, many benefits. It not only helps with hyperpigmentation, but it can also help with indented or ice pick scars. It stimulates the production of collagen, it improves the texture of the skin, and it leaves it feeling more firm and just much more radiant. So I know these might look a little bit scary and kind of intimidating, but it's not as bad as it looks. When you use a derma roller, it produces hundreds of tiny microscopic holes in the skin. And this is what essentially triggers the healing process. It sends a signal to the brain that the skin needs to be repaired. So each time you use the roller, new collagen is produced, which helps the skin rebuild itself and repair the scar. So this is actually very similar to when we work out. When we exercise, we create these micro tears in the muscles and it's the repair to these micro tears that results in muscle growth. So in this case, these microscopic holes result in scar repair. Okay, so Banish has a few different tools that I've used. The first one is the original Banish roller. This one is sort of like a little wheel with a whole bunch of needles all around. These are made of titanium, and as you can see, they're very, very tiny. So when you roll this across the skin, they're not gonna create these visible holes. They're just gonna create these tiny micro channels in the skin. And these micro channels will allow your skincare products to go deeper and work much more effectively. They also have the banisher stamp, or they also refer to this as a pen, and this works very similar to the roller, except this one is targeted more for people who have active acne, because you don't want to be rolling over any breakouts. So the stamp allows you to have more control and work around the pimples. So this way you can continue to heal your scars without going over any active acne. This also works really well if you don't have a lot of scarring. Maybe you just have a little bit of hyperpigmentation here and there. This will allow you to treat those individual scars more precisely. And personally, these last couple of years, I would really enjoy using the stamp over the roller simply because I feel like it's faster to use and it also just has more even pressure. So last year I was really excited when they finally came out with this Banisher 2.0, which is basically like the pen stamp except much bigger. And this one also has finer and sharper bristles and the bristles are made of 24 karat gold and gold is also known for promoting collagen production, which is exactly what we're looking for. So in my opinion, this targets the scars even better, especially in my case because I don't necessarily have red scarring. My struggle is really with indented scars or ice pick scars, so I feel like the stamp is more precise and allows the bristles to go a little bit deeper since they are going in vertically into the skin instead of coming in at an angle. This banisher also lasts longer and there's less irritation, so you can actually use this once a week versus once every two weeks with the regular banisher. I also really like that the cap doubles up as the container where you can sanitize it. You just fill it up with alcohol to the fill line and put the banisher inside. So it makes it super convenient. And I've been using the Banisher 2.0 for about a month now, but I'm already seeing a big difference in the indented scars, so I'm very excited to keep using it and see even more improvement. So like I said, I've used all of these tools, the roller and the stamps, and I don't think one is necessarily better than the other. I've seen improvements with all of them at different points in my skincare journey. I think my only problem was that I wasn't as consistent with them as I am now with the 2.0. So it really just comes down to what your current skin condition is and also what you prefer. So whatever you choose, before you get started with any session, you want to sanitize the tool with alcohol 
And this is very, very important because we are working with needles here. So I usually just leave it in there while I go and take a shower and then I'll come back and it's ready to use. So all of my scarring is mainly on my cheeks and a little bit along my jawline. And what I like to do is hold my skin taut. That way the stamp can really get into the skin. And I start with one area first and simply stamp and then rotate the tool and then stamp again in the same area. This way you make sure you're getting different spots and not the same ones all the time. And I do this for about five times. And then I move on to another area and do the same thing. Gently pressing in and rotating again for five times. And I repeat those same steps everywhere I have scars. And if you're using the smaller pen stamp, it works the same way. And if you have active acne, you would just work around those areas. Now for the roller, you also want to do this in sections. And you just go back and forth in one direction for about five times. So you can start vertically and then you want to do the same thing horizontally going back and forth about five times and then again diagonally. And this is all in the same section. So once you roll over the entire area in all directions, you can move on to another section and do the same thing. And honestly, all of these tools can be very helpful and beneficial for different parts of your face. So for example, I personally like to use the roller right along my jawline instead of using the stamp because I feel like I have a little bit more control over it. I can move it up and down without a problem. So in reality, all of these can be really helpful. And everyone's pain tolerance is different, but personally, I don't find this painful at all. It obviously feels a little bit uncomfortable, but I wouldn't call it painful. But if you do find this unbearable, Banish also sells this tool, it's called the Pore Smasher. And you basically put this in the freezer for about 5 minutes or so, and then you roll this across your face before doing one of these sessions, and it will help numb the skin so that way it'll be a little bit more tolerable. So once I'm finished with the stamping or the rolling, I follow up with my toner. And since we just created all these micro channels in our skin, any products we apply right after will really absorb into the skin. So I would of course recommend using 100% natural products. And then after the toner, I go in with the banish oil, which is a vitamin C serum. It's all natural. And vitamin C is actually used by the skin to create collagen, so it works perfect in combination with the microneedling. I just gently pat it in and that's pretty much it. It's gonna help repair the skin, it hydrates it and evens out the skin tone. And it honestly makes my skin feel really nice and plump the next morning, so I love this. And any redness should go away within an hour or so. And also after any session, you want to avoid wearing makeup for the next 12 hours. So that's why I like doing this at the end of the day. That way my skin can repair at night while I sleep. Also, don't forget to sanitize the tools after each use. You just put them back in alcohol and let them air dry before storing them away. This way you'll avoid any growth of bacteria. So if you're struggling with acne scars, whether it's red scarring or ice pick scars, I highly recommend giving this a try. Honestly, this is the only thing I've used over the years for my scars. I've never been to a dermatologist to get any treatments done. And considering how bad my acne was and the scars that I was left with, I think this has really done an amazing job. You just have to be consistent. My skin is far from perfect. It's still a work in progress, but it has definitely come a long, long way. And I finally reached a point where I feel comfortable in my own skin, which is what's most important. So like always, I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Click the like button if you did. And if you have any questions about this, leave them in the comment section and I will gladly help with whatever I can. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.